everybody it is officially vlogmas week one um i can't believe that i'm officially doing vlogmas i'm even scared to say that because i feel like i'm scared of disappointing you guys and i don't keep it up but like i said week one we're still sticking to the weekly vlogs but i'll just name them vlogmas you know what i mean so i think it's only fitting that this week we start off right and we are going to go do some christmas shopping but i might not bring you along for all the shopping that i'm going to be doing depends on how busy it is at the stores but we are decorating in this vlog so i'm excited about this vlog and yeah man let's the, let the festive and the christmas festivities begin um so yeah i just want to say welcome to the vlog guys if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back honey um and then please recommend my channel to a lot more people so we can keep growing the family and if you're a new sub you welcome welcome honey and if you're just a new viewer welcome to the channel i hope you like it enough to stay let's get into this <laughs> So now that we're home, we are definitely decorating. I wanted to show you what I have right now. Um, I did buy these outdoor lights that I'm thinking of either putting in front in the front yard or putting in the back or the side. Um, I also bought a wreath. Um, actually, like the only Christmas decorations that I've had in my house have been um my christmas tree so this year is kind of like my first time doing a little bit more than usual so i bought the wreath i bought these ribbons which i want to just add to the tree and then i bought new bowls to add as well to the tree because i think the ones that i had i wanted to get rid of i i wasn't sure but i'll see now when i go into the storage room not storage room into the garage from my storage container when i take out the tree and then in here i have extra lights and some garland that i want to drape over the stairs so that is what i got i had no actually plus sorry i bought these two mini trees and i bought a candle as well as Santa Claus, one Santa Claus. So, um, so the plan is to just start decorating, put a few things up. Um, because I'm just starting out to add extra decorations, it's not going to be like very, very crazy Christmas pieces, very subtle. But this is like the start of me just adding on to my Christmas deco. And then I think each year I'll keep adding things that I want to add to the tree or add to my decoration collection. And yeah, maybe we can keep interchanging and swapping them out as the years go. But yeah, that's all that I have right now. Um, I did a mixture of Game, Mr. Price and Leroy Melon because there is, was absolutely no way I could get every single thing from one store um and yeah that's pretty much where i got everything so let me just get the tree out of the garage and then let us start decorating okay so i think the perfect start for this christmas deco is the wreath i'm gonna put it on my on my front door and i had bought a hook to go with the wreath but it didn't fit on the door so i just diy'd one you know what I mean, with a wire hanger and just wrapped it with tape so that it can blend in with the door as you can see the black, the black so it doesn't look too awkward so yeah, let's put it up and see what it looks like it feels actually very strange that I'm in front, like vlogging in front of my door but it is what it is, we're doing Christmas decorations about right and then now that that's done just need to find the right place to hook it up and just like that the wreath is on 
I think it looks stunning guys and the green without it having a lot of detail really does look nice against my door because it's black and it really is very festive what do you guys think it is so cute yeah so that's deco number one done and dusted so i think the next thing that i need to do is tackle the stairs i've never really done this before put like garland on the railing i have an idea of how i wanted to turn out but i just don't know if execution wise i can do that so let's try and figure this out together so this is obviously how it's looking right now i'm gonna come back and cut the cable ties so i think this method works i'm using black cable ties because they blend in with the rail but it's really really looking cute guys i'm so excited a little bit if my vision is going to come to life but i just like how the garland looks on the rear very very festive now obviously i bought batteries and these are the ivy leaf string lights that i bought that i thought instead of because here you see they put them on like a table to add this deco but i thought i could add it to the garland just to add a little bit of sparkle to it so let's see if that actually works out Okay, so these are the shelves that I'm going to start with. You guys have seen them on my vlogs. Um, I think I want to put an, a tree here. Um, it might look good. So my plan is not to... My plan is not to remove everything off the shelves in order for me to just add Christmas decor. So I'm just going to see how I can add things in there to make it more festive. And then we take it from there. So I just fluffed it up a little bit and uh, it doesn't fit with the book here. Let me see if I remove this cookbook, it, it, will, it barely fits. Come on, here I'm just gonna bend this a little bit so it can fit. Okay, that has to 
that's what it's looking like right now i'm not sure if it's working or if i still need to move things out let's let's step back so yeah i don't know i don't know let's see so i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and put it on the last shelf let's see if that makes a difference because i feel like i wasn't sure maybe putting it here and putting my book back and then maybe i just add the center loan like here we're just gonna have to play around with the shelf guys and figure out what works let's just remove the price let's see Ouch. just to add a touch of center because i think it would be a lot of big things here because of my cake stand so maybe something smaller would look better and then adding the tree to the top and my thinking is if i can maybe add candles to that shelf let me see if i still have my candlesticks or holders and candlesticks So before I start cleaning them, I think I'm going to add these two with candles to the top. If I remember correctly, we should have candles. Yeah, just to add a little bit of, you know, something, something cute. Oh, it was just candle wax. Can I get away with it? I don't know. Jeez, it's so hot and I just glazed it like a donut. It's funny how I was busy showing you the shelf, but you couldn't see the top shelf. So... That's what I was talking about. The tree is up there. I'm just going to add these two here to add balance to the shelves because obviously there's a lot happening here, but nothing at the top. Let me move this back here. Guys, I went on a scavenger hunt to find these. Um, I mean, they should work. So they're not straight. Like, I had to find them in a box like buried under so many things because we don't use these candles specifically i just need to get this wax off here not that anybody will see it this is my own sanity i'm just gonna scrape it off a little bit because at the end of the day these are things that we use right so it's not gonna be perfect and it's a candle holder. This is how candle holders look when they are used. I just pray that this like gets me to achieve the look I want. look from that angle look at me asking you as if you can respond now in real time but i think it's not bad like there's a lot happening on that shelf right now and i'm just like Ugh. i'm cringing but i think in terms of balancing it out it does balance it out and like it's subtle things that are saying it's christmas on the shelf you know while still leaving them to be functional because it is a functional space so yeah let's tackle the other shelf okay so let's see how we zhuzh this one up i might remove that spice salt and pepper shaker i am finally using my baby Like I said, I wanted them displayed because it's Christmas, but I also want to use them. I'll probably give them a good wash after, like, setting this up. I'm just doing this for the for us to decorate together before, like, it gets dark. Cute, right? 
very cute. I think let's take this off here for now. And then I'm gonna just shift this to the side. Please fit, please fit. Yay! And then put that there. How does that look? I'm looking at the shelf behind you. And I've like usually obviously I have very minimal stuff on the shelves, you guys know. Like now it looks so busy, but for the purpose of Christmas, I have to add things on there. So yeah, nice thing is that it's seasonal, so I don't have to keep them here 100% of the time. But I think it looks cute, it looks festive, but I have a feeling that I might swap the gnome and put it on the other side and then take the um, diffuser and you know what I mean, just swap them around just for a balance, symmetry to the eye and just balance because like I feel like the wick and the candles two big things yeah it's just not gonna make sense for me i'm gonna do that quickly because it's gonna disturb me until i fix it